today, the baseball to tomorrow, but 13 championships will be decided today, lacrosse, baseball, and softball. We did have one sport last night, though. Let's take a look at it. Let's go to the uh, Class M Volleyball Championship, Newington, Oxford, Shelton High School, neutral site for these Titans, but each school will represent it. First set, Wolverines of Oxford jump out to the early lead. They go up 12-9, Nick Orbin, the big junior, in the middle with the kill. Newington then found its rhythm. Pretty back set from McManus to Flavio Leachy. And then Leachy and his buddy Nick hits Cliff on the block. 25-22, Newington in game one. On to set two, and Newington in the left court in control. Uh, there's the state title. Newington in three straight sets. The Indians are the class end champs. And while they won in straight sets, they would tell us that. We stuck together and we came out with the win. From Shelton High School in Shelton, CPTV Sports presents the 2014 CIAC Boys Volleyball Championship. This is the Class M Finals. Handled by the Wolverines. Now they just get it over. Opportunity here for the Indians. That back set and that kill attempt by Leachy was blocked, but it went out of bounds. Point Newington. Both teams show a little bit before they settle in. Jensen with the serve. McManus with the set. Oh, great dig by Cragen with the kill. And another assist for McManus. They're actually calling Hinchcliffe in the net. So they're gonna wave it off. It's now five serving two. Early mistakes mounting here for Newington. There's a back set and a big finish that time by Leachy and he gets the kill. Smart recognition by McManus. Hinchcliffe at 6'4 on the outside commands a lot of attention. Defenses tend to focus on him. Back sets right behind him. Nobody's looking. Second kill unofficially for Leachy. He will serve. And that kill attempt by Degali was blocked at the net by Hinchcliffe. Now McManus with a great dig to keep it alive. The Oxford fans thought it was a point for Oxford. There's another block at the net, but we're going to get a call of Oxford in the net. Point Newington. Yeah, you're seeing both setters right now a little apprehensive at first, a little tight. They're setting the ball too tight to the net. They're not giving their hitters the opportunity to get a full swing. That's why these contacts on the net are being called. Four serving five. There's the set for the kill attempt by Thorne. Nice dig in that back row by Leachy. Now Hinchcliffe just gets it over. Another block at the net, but another whistle and another call of a... Uh, averaging four and a half kills per set. Leading his team. McManus with the back set. A beauty to Leachy. They're calling him under the net, however. So they'll wave it off. Hitters hitting off the right and your best right side hitters hitting off the left. For Oxford, they've got to find a way to get through this. There's that back set for Jensen. And the point for Newington. Yeah, three hits. Serve McManus tries to go right back at him, misses. There's the back serve for Jensen. Blocked at the net, he'll get it again. Just try to touch it over. Big rally at the net. Now Jensen. Yeah, I think that was critical for Oxford. If they wanted to win this first set, they needed to get out of that rotation quickly. And a point for Newington. The kill for Leachy. And a fantastic job by McManus. That pass was too tight. It was a little too hot, meaning it had too much velocity going over the net. He jumped up and pulled it back onto his side enough to give Leachy the room to swing without hitting the net. They free serve. Handled by the Wolverines. There's a short set, blocked at the net, and the point for Newington. That was Leachy again. Yeah, and I think they got away with one there, did Newington. They served the libero for Oxford, who's been passing really well, Ed Carver. Oxford got to run the offense they wanted, got to run the offense they wanted out of it. They just, uh, they got a great block from Leachy to get, a, get through it. Newington leading 23-22. There's a back set. Sort of a finesse touch by Degali but it was blocked right back at him, and the point for Newington. Yeah, Cragen's decision to go to the backside is understandable because Matt Degali is there, but like I said, this is unusual for Degali. I don't think he's seen too many. Boys Volleyball Class M Finals.
One versus two, and the uh, top seed Indians have taken a one set to nothing lead over Oxford. They still have yet to lose a set now into their 13th consecutive match. Want to keep a good service run going here? There's the uh, set to Leachy from McManus, and he gets the kill. I had him unofficially with four. Ring that passes very well. And there's a service error by Colazzo as Leachy. Check that, he just checked out. The timeout. I want to remind you, if you are enjoying today's game, we would like to add it to your home DVD library. You can do so by visiting us online at cptvsports.org. Click on the video tab and follow the instructions to purchase a copy of today's game or any program. Cybert serve, handled by Apria. A kill attempt by Leachy blocked at the net. Wolverines recover. Now Jensen just gets it over. Hinchcliffe to McManus. Now Apria has come back. We are tied at 10. McManus' serve handled. There's a kill attempt block at the net by Leachy. He recovers, keeps it alive, and then Newington will get the point. 12 to 10. Great job keeping the ball away from the libero. Jensen Easy gets it back. over, handled by Apria. Now there's a back set and a kill for Erickson. And that's just smart play by McManus. He's set Leachy again, again, and again. And he noticed that Eric Jensen has started cheating in to try to help block Leachy. So what does he do? He back sets. Nobody's expecting Connor Erickson to get that ball wide open net. Jensen's attempt blocked at the net. Wolverines handle it. Nice job in the back row by Hinchcliffe, keeping it alive for Newington. Now the Wolverines with an opportunity. Jensen's kill blocked at the net. McManus now setting up Apria. Kept alive by Jensen, and they'll get the point. First ball, whether it's an attack or a serve. I'm wondering if Newington doesn't want to rethink hitting at Carver all the time. Jensen just has to get it over, he does. Now Newington is set up, McManus. Quick toss over the net, and he gets the point. How beautiful was that? What really made it work was Leachy selling the quick. He came running in, all eyes are fixed on him. No one paying attention to McManus. Instead of that quick set they're expecting, the dump over the net just before the blocker's hands come. Welcome back to Shelton High School. Glenn Contasolo, Alex Niffin. This is the 2014 CIAC Boys Volleyball Class M State Final. Newington have won the first two games. They lead it 2 nothing, and still have yet to lose a game now into their 13th consecutive match. That was a little too tight. You need to give your hitters more room to take a swing. McManus sets up Hinchcliffe, blocked at the net. Good recovery by Erickson. Now Apria from the back row just gets it over. That's Cragen. The setter with an opportunity for a kill. Don't see that too often. <laughs> opportunity for Thorne, but it's blocked right back at him, and it stayed in play. Flavio Leachy. Well, you talk so much about blocking at the net and keeping control of your block. It's so difficult to do that, but boy, that was handled beautifully. It, it really is a difficult, difficult skill, but when you do it right, you can own the net. It's so intimidating for hitters to deal with a great block because you can't tool it. You can't hit it and expect it to give you points. Service error by... Want your blockers to be aggressive and to impose their will, but sometimes that means a little too much aggressiveness and taking risks that they don't need to. And a point for Newington. Court does not work. Right. 10 serving 12. McManus with the back set for Hint, rather for Leachy. Lavio Leachy will pick up the kill. Yeah, Nick nope. Orban just a little late on his responsibility. He's the middle blocker. It's his responsibility to block the other middle blocker. Leachy on that slide. You've got to recognize it early. You've got to break and go with him. Set. Well, it wasn't that aggressive jump serve like you have been talking about. He did try to hit it softly over that net. And that time, Leachy's kill went wide. And Oxford is right back in it now, down by just a point. 
13, serving 14. McManus. Yeah, it's Hinchcliffe just gets it over. And the point for Newington, four hits on Oxford's end. So the Indians service out, leading 15-13. Yeah, that first and second. So it's Apria Leachy in the front row. Reagan serve, handled by McManus now to Apria. Blocked back at him, kept alive by Sullivan. Again, McManus to Apria. And he gets the kill, and the game is over. And now the Newington student body can rush the court. There you go. Congratulations to the Newington Indians. They win their second state title in boys volleyball. They won it back in 2012, and they win it here in 2014. Great effort by both teams, but Newington, after losing to Cheshire, did not lose a set in the next 13 consecutive matches. That's amazing. 